Good day, fishing fans. Today is Tuesday, August 13th, 2024. My name is Matt Upton, coming at you again with a live look at the most recent conditions in the Northeast from Massachusetts to North Carolina via sea surface temperature, which you see right here. And the blue, green, yellow is the cooler water, orange and red, warmer water. And we're going to look at ocean color chlorophyll conditions as well later on. But we have got a lot going on here in the Northeast. A uh, lot of wind last, last week or so. So there's a lot of cool wind mixing, cooler water inshore. This water here is in the mid to hot upper 60s. This is this water up here is in the lower 70s, upper 60s. And what we have going on, the Gulf Stream is up to 84, 85 degrees, not getting much over 85 degrees, 85 and a half, bunch of clouds out here. But a lot going on down in off the canyons. We've got what looks like a large rotation counterclockwise. Eddy, inshore of Hudson, creating a nice edge here inshore for tuna. We've got a bunch of eddies to look at down south. We've got a clockwise eddy here for you guys at Pirates Cove this week. Fishing, we've got an eddy here. Just going over the point right now. And it appears to be in some rotation here, pushing some water inshore. There's some nice conditions, nice edges inshore. Looking up northern, these northern canyons, we have, well, there's a small clockwise eddy here. There's a clockwise eddy off of, uh, well, actually south of Tom's now, east of Linden Coal. Pushing water down in the Wilmington and Spencer. It looks really good right now here. This is this is your bluest water in this in this canyon, this um southern canyon area. There's a number of eddies down here off of Baltimore, um, Washington, and Norfolk, just pulling in some nice edges of water inshore. There's not a lot of blue water down here. But there is a lot of stronger water mass boundaries, especially for this time of year, that could get bait concentration for, for tuna, marlin, wahoo, and dolphin fish. Most reports um, have some tuna caught off of Lindy in the Toms. Hudson Canyon is improving with a, there's an eddy, counterclockwise eddy here, another counterclockwise eddy here, pulling in some blended, blue, some blue or green water. Nice edge here. There's got to be tuna on this edge between Hudson and Chicken Canyon. But looking further east, this water all is upper 70s. We've got a clockwise eddy. Looks like right over Atlantis Canyon. There's some sort of rotation over the fishtails clockwise. Looks like a counterclockwise eddy between fishtails and Atlantis. Pulling some nice edges inshore. These are all nice boundaries to fish, especially for tuna. And even white marlin come up in this part of the world this time of year inshore off of Nantucket, Martha's Vineyard. A lot of blue water out here you'll see in the next image. But overall, now, now we're into like the mid-Atlantic is next week. Um, congratulations to all you guys fishing the White Marlin Open and how and our our winners. There, there is a clockwise eddy also off of Washington Canyon, creating a nice edge for some marlin here. Thousand fathoms, eight seven hundred to a thousand fathoms of Washington. Anyways, let's take a look at what's real exciting out east, and that is a big warm core. Gulf Stream Eddy forming. It's it has formed for for a few weeks now. But there's a, a counterclockwise eddy just west of this 
This water's pushing all this way. This water's pull, pulling this way. But look at this nice edge right over, over the southern Georgia's bank. Munson Canyon, Powell Canyon is really good right now. Ladonia Canyon is going to be pretty good in a day or two. And all this water is moving to the west slowly. All of this water is moving west. So there's some nice filaments up here between uh, in the Beach Canyon area, between Hydro and Atlantis, but the best of it looks to be between the Fishtails and Atlantis, Hudson Canyon, and Oceanographer Canyon is gonna improve real soon. There's a nice filament between Hydro and Oceanographer and some nice boundaries here. These are This is exciting. This, this could be the water you guys are fishing in September, October in the hydro hydrographer to Atlantis Canyon area. So that's exciting to keep track of, but take a look down farther south and how this Gulf Stream is still making a big dip down to the south, up and around. That's That's been a trend lately. And even though the Gulf Stream is far offshore right now, if this continues, it blocks the Gulf Stream, and sometimes the Gulf Stream pushes back up. Here's another uh, counterclockwise Gulf Stream eddy here. So this water's coming down and around like this. Anyways, right off the point, looks like a decent edge. But let's look at the corresponding ocean color chlorophyll data. As you can see, besides the Gulf Stream, Going this way, dipping way down and up. There is not a whole lot of real blue water. There is some blue water here off of Wilmington to Tom's. And hopefully this comes down more range for a lot of you guys for the mid-Atlantic next week. There's some, the Gulf Stream starting to push up a little bit south of Norfolk but mostly a lot of green water, a lot of green water, probably run off from that storm. Debbie is contributing to that. Not the best chlorophyll image, but it was the clearest we can get with all the clouds. Turbid green water up here. There's some blended blue to, to blue green water pushing up and in here. Some wa bluer water off of Hudson. Um, but this is what we're going to be keeping an eye on for the next couple months for sure is this blue, nice blue warm core Gulf Stream eddy that's going to make its way to the west here. Oh, there's a nice counterclockwise eddy this area too. All right. Well, that's about it for this week. Um, it's already mid-August, so we're getting into the peak marlin season and Hopefully the weather holds. We get some good fishing days here in the next couple of weeks into Labor Day and even into September. Stay tuned to Ross and we'll keep you updated. That's my dog here squeaking his squeak toy underneath you, underneath me. But have a great week and weekend, and we'll talk to you next, next week or the week after with another edition of the Northeast Conditions. So long.